My name is Wataru Sujimura. I'm a 19-year-old who didn't get into college. Ugh, I can't focus at all. I can't believe I let my score slip this much. Back in high school, my grades were good enough that I felt like I could aim for the top school in the country. But I didn't get in. And I didn't have any backup plans. And now here I am with nothing. Maybe I should take a break. Man, all my friends look like they're having so much fun at college. Seeing my social media feed filled up with pictures of everyone I knew, living it up only made me feel more pathetic. Oh, Yui posted a pic. That's from around when we first met. Yui Nakamura and I dated when we were in high school. Back then, I thought the two of us would be together forever. I was so naive. Wataru, are you studying in here? Hey, don't just enter my room without permission. I'm studying, okay? You said you didn't want to go to prep school and you could study on your own. Are you sure you can do that? Yes, Mom, I'm sure. Well, it doesn't look like it the way you're staring at your phone like that. Taking breaks sometimes is important too. Yeah, sometimes. But if you can't manage your time effectively, then maybe you shouldn't be studying on your own in the first place. That's why I got you a tutor. What? You can't just decide to manage my life. Do you want to make it a second year without getting into college? No, but... Exactly. No buts. Study hard together, okay? Jeez, don't just butt into my life. What do you want this time? Sup? Yui? What? Why are you here? Oh, I was wondering if it was just someone with the same name, but I guess it really is you. What? What? Oh, right. Nice to meet you. I'm Yui Nakamura from Nanakuma Home Tutoring Services. I don't know how I'm supposed to respond when you act like this is the first time we've ever met. Well, work is work. I have to follow the policy for first-time greetings. I had no idea my ex got a job as a tutor. I'm surprised. Not as surprised as me. Who knew I'd end up having to tutor my garbage ex-boyfriend that decided to break up with me over a text after we graduated and then block me before I could even say anything back? Ugh. And besides, aren't we both freshmen? Why are you applying for the National Entrance Exam course? Are you planning to redo a year there or something? Well, um, the thing is, I didn't get in. What? You didn't? You mean, to Ichitora? Yeah. But, didn't you tell me you passed the mock exam with flying colors, no problem? I did. I told you it was good to have backups, but you kept boasting about only applying to the one school, didn't you? You did. And didn't you say in April when we were seniors that you didn't want to text or meet each other so we could focus on studying for the exam? Uh-huh. I wanted to see you so bad, but I held off for your sake. And I told myself that you were doing the same thing for me. That's what made me want to work so hard. I know. And even with all that, you still failed? Ugh. This is exactly why I didn't want to see you again. Are you that disappointed to see me? Of course not. What about you? Isn't it hard to have to tutor your ex-boyfriend? Nope. Because unlike a certain somebody, I actually got into college. And FYI, I'm having a great time. I'm so happy for you. Hey, wait, hold on. 
Why are you even a tutor for the National Entrance Exam course in the first place? Aren't you going to a private school? I actually ended up applying for the same school you did. I knew it was a long shot, so I didn't tell you. And then, somehow, I actually made it in. Yeah, and I didn't. It's really fun, you know? There's all sorts of events, and everyone in my classes and clubs is really nice. I'm glad I chose this place. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. But I really don't want to hear about it. Let me finish. I'm enjoying it so much, I really hope that we'll be able to study hard together so you can join me. You're back in teacher mode again. I don't know how to handle this. Okay, open up your reference book. Fine. This brings back memories, huh? We used to study like this all the time. Oh, yeah. Back then, you were always the one helping me out. I never imagined our positions would be reversed like this someday. Man, this is so awkward. It's like a constant stabbing in my heart. Sorry if I acted like I was better than you back then. I really regret it. Could you please stop bringing up all my worst memories? Hey, it's not a big deal. You don't have to talk so formally with me, okay? But even if we did dig in the past, it doesn't change the fact that you came here today to be my tutor. Let's just leave the past behind for now and focus on studying. Leave the past behind, huh? Fine. Then let's move on to modern Japanese culture. Right. First, let's start with some past questions. Okay. Question one. Why did you break up with me? Huh? Which exam was that from? The most important one, the School of Hard Knocks. I guess that is a past question. But is this playing dirty? That's not the kind of past question I was thinking of. It's not exactly going to help me pass the test, is it? Sure it will. The way you tackle past questions is important too. And knowing how to answer will help you get better results in the future, right? I don't think that really applies here. Please express your answer for why you broke up with me in the form of a 400 word or less speech. What's there to express? I'm waiting. Um, well, we both got busy during exam season. I thought we had to put some distance between each other to focus on studying. Incorrect! That's the reason why you stopped meeting and contacting me. It has no relevance to why you broke up with me. Zero points. Do it again. Again? Express your answer for why you broke up with me in 400 words or less. Um, despite everything I said, I still didn't get into college. I felt so pathetic and embarrassed that I didn't even want to show my face in front of you. Incorrect. What? But that's the truth. I don't know whether your answer was right or not, but your way of thinking was incorrect. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Negative 50 points for your excuse that you can't focus on studying if you have a partner. Hey! Would you abandon your partner if you joined a team in college and things got busy? Or if you had a busy shift while working a part-time job? And after we graduate, if you had to spend more time at the office, would you stop meeting up with me? Well, I... Life is all about balancing all the things going on in parallel. Does being engaged in something mean that you can't find romance? Are busy people just incapable of dating or marriage? I didn't say that. Then, you agree you can do stuff and still have a relationship? In fact, it's the opposite, isn't it? Your partner can help support you when you're most in need. Um, I guess that makes sense. 
Letting a relationship stagnate and fall apart just because you're busy is what losers and scum do. Losers? There's rarely gonna be a time when you need to focus so hard on one thing that you have to throw everything else to the wayside. There'll always be different priorities we have to juggle at the same time. You're right. So, why'd you choose to cut off your love life? If you couldn't even handle studying and being in a relationship at the same time in high school, what makes you think you'd be able to handle all the other things that come up in life? I don't know. If you have any additional reasons, please express them. Not the expressing again. Elaborate. When we were dating, it bothered you when I couldn't contact you or go on dates with you because I was busy with sports or hanging out with other friends, didn't it? I didn't want to make you sad about my inability to make time for you. You are the weakest link! Goodbye! That catchphrase doesn't even make sense here. Who's commanding you from on high to make time for your partner? Is that your decision? Some higher powers? It's not like that. I have a bad feeling I'm not gonna like what she says. So, what are you sorry for? Did I ever tell you you had to abandon your studying to go on a date with me? Did I ever force you to text or call me every single day? No. I was busy with stuff too, you know? You know you weren't the only one working hard to get into college, right? I know. So, don't you find it a bit strange that you were so worried about not being able to make time? I guess so. Oh, but we were planning on going to different schools. So I thought we had to focus on studying different things. Be that as it may, does it really take that much time to send a text with a few words of encouragement to your partner after a long day of studying? You're right. Then, don't just sit there slack-jawed. Take notes! This is Relationships 101, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. No matter how embarrassed or pathetic you felt after not being able to get into college after everything you did, did you even take a second to think about how I felt about all of this? Um... I was so proud that I also got into Ichitora and we'd be going to the same school together. And then you ruined everything with that sudden text that you wanted to break up. And to add insult to injury, you immediately blocked me? Express how you think I felt in five words or less. I didn't think about it at all. Sorry, that was seven words. Oh, oops. Next, express what you could have done to improve your future in 200 words or less. Maybe you'll be able to put that knowledge to good use now. Um, well, for starters, since there's always things going on in my life, I shouldn't have used being busy as an excuse to abandon my relationship. See? Now you're getting it. And instead of feeling sorry for myself for not being able to make time, I should have asked my partner how they felt about it. Good! Now you understand how important it is to not be selfish and decide everything for yourself. I threw away the one person who was more important to me than anything else in the vain attempt to keep my pride. No matter how embarrassing it was, I should have just come clean and told you the truth, and focused on what we could do from now on. Maybe if you did that, I wouldn't have been left so stunned and wondering what the heck I did wrong. You get that, right? Yeah. I think I'm finally starting to understand. I'm sorry for everything. Good. I have one last problem for you to solve. Okay. Do you know why I got into Ichitora University despite you cutting off all communication with me? 
Um, because you studied really hard? And why do you think I did that? Because you wanted to go to the same college as me? And what do you think was the reason I wanted that? Well, uh... It's because I love you, Wataru! Huh? When it comes to relationships, it's as simple as that. If you overthink everything and keep making these elementary mistakes, you'll never get through the test. Oh, yeah. I was able to push myself to the brink no matter how hard it was to be apart because I knew we'd both be able to hang out and enjoy campus life together. I had faith things would get better for us soon. I'm sorry. That's not what you should be saying. I came all the way here, didn't I? What's the correct answer? Uh, I was a fool to let go of you because of my shallow self-centered pride. Please, give me a chance to start over. I can't. What? Why not? What did I do wrong? Look, do you think you can be saying that now? You didn't even get into Ichitora, did you? What? Oh, yeah. That's the kind of overexcited thinking that'll keep you failing the entrance exams not just once, but two or three times. You realize that, right? Sorry. I made a mistake. I take it back everything I said. You're giving up already? What? If you quit before you make anything out of your life, you'll never amount to anything. If you don't go all out to get what you want, how do you expect to pass? Ugh. So, what are you gonna do? I know you have it in you to come up with a solution. Uh, I'm gonna work my butt off and get into Ichi Tora this time. And when I do, I wanna be your boyfriend again. See? That's why past questions are so effective. Now you won't make the same mistakes again. I won't. If that's true, then get into Ichitora this time! Okay. After that, it was like a switch flipped in my brain, and I rushed forward without a moment of hesitation or slacking. And eventually... I... I passed! I... I'm so happy for you! Thanks, Yui! I couldn't have done any of this without your support. I know I messed up bad back in high school. I didn't know the right thing to do back then either. But I know how badly you wanted this, and it finally came true for you. Yeah. Hey, I know after the way I broke up with you, I understand why you want nothing to do with me ever again. But do you think you can give me one more chance? Wataru... All this has only made me realize just how important you are to me, and how much I never want to let you go again. I love you, Yui. Took you long enough? Sorry. If you promise not to be selfish, and that you won't jump to conclusions without talking to me first, I guess I could give the two of us another shot. I promise, I'll never put myself ahead of our relationship again. And I'll always tell you what's on my mind. I'll bear the deepest parts of my soul to you if I have to. There's nothing in the world I care about more than you. Wataru, I love you so much too. I've been waiting so, so long to hear you say those words. I'm so glad that you happened to be my tutor back then. Uh... That wasn't actually a coincidence. It wasn't? I overheard what happened to you from your old friend, Sato. And I got him to mention the site for the tutoring program I worked for to his mom, who then told your mom. Seriously? Once I heard you dropped out of your prep school, I knew I had to do something. 
I was aware you never got into Ichitora the whole time. Wow, I had no idea. I know I didn't find out about it on purpose, but I still feel really bad. Before, I would have been angry that you knew, but now things are different. Yui, I'm so grateful that you came to me that day as my tutor. Yeah. And soon? Sorry, my class ran late. That's okay. I went ahead and ordered lunch for you. Thanks. I get to experience the fun college life of Yui that I always dreamed of. I may have answered poorly when life tested me before. But from now on, I'll talk things through with my beloved partner, so the two of us can solve whatever problems arise together. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time! <laughs>